Hello, everybody. Prowl here again, and I feel like we needed to come back to this. Uh, you may remember a couple videos ago, we tested out this creeper farm by Iskow85, originally designed by Waddles, and it didn't work. It got like six gunpowder an hour, and we explained why it had to do with bedrock spawning mechanics, mob spawning on corners of blocks, et cetera, et cetera. If you want those details, go back and watch that video. But the reason I'm back today is because in the latest beta, like literally a few days after this video came out, in the latest beta, they changed bedrock spawning mechanics. Mobs will now spawn on the center of blocks on bedrock edition. So a lot of people have been asking me, okay, well, now with this change, Prowl, does that mean Iskal slash Waddles Farm will work on Bedrock Edition? I'm pretty sure I know how this is gonna go, and I'll explain why once we get to that point, but I think we should hop over into the latest Minecraft preview. Let's build this thing. Let's build it in a way that's actually going to get good rates using its current mechanics in the best ways that we can on Bedrock Edition to maximize it, and let's see what it does. Okay, here we are. I used a brand new like seated world instead of a super flat because some people are very sus of super flat worlds. So we wanna make sure we do this 100% right. And it's not gonna really matter too much where we pick to do this, as long as it's somewhere that can spawn creepers. There's maybe a couple biomes, I think like deep ocean or something like that, or, or like an icy biome that maybe spawn creepers a little bit more often. We're gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna go with the standard biome, okay? Now on bedrock edition, what we need to do, oh, what is my um, simulation distance? We're gonna leave it at four chunks because four chunks is the standard for bedrock that most players use. And at four chunks, we need to get at least 44 blocks up in the air, although just in case we scale this thing up in size we might want to go the full like 128 i guess so let's say 130 blocks up which would put us at y 200 and something we'll go to like y 210 now this works on bedrock edition and it's not the most efficient way to do it on java because on java edition mobs technically spawn in faster at the bottom of the world on bedrock edition the mob spawning starts from the top of the world and works its way down, but actually has no actual bearing on how fast the mob farm actually is or performs or whatever. So it doesn't really matter, but this gets us away from all additional spawnable spots without having to make us a uh, torch and spawn proof and all of those crazy things. So this platform we're gonna make right here, this is gonna be our like AFK platform. This is where we're gonna sit. This is where the mobs are gonna drop down. All right, so here we have our like center position where the mobs are going to fall. And eventually we're gonna build a trident killer here to kill them. I'll show a little bit of that when we get to that point. We don't need to know that yet. We're gonna drop them down a two by two, I guess. And that's the center. So we'll go something like this, should be good. And this right here is 20 blocks. Our creeper boy should live. Perfect. Is he a one shot? Uh, we can go up three more blocks safely. We'll go up two more and that'll definitely make him a one hit for anything except like a fist, right? So let's plop him back on here. So throw him off the edge. Perfect. Actually, that made him a one shot. I'm, I'm a little bit afraid of him bobbing in water and dying from that. And we don't want him to. So we're going to do that right there. Okay, we have the drop tube here. I chopped out the bottom. The trident killer is going to go there. Again, we're not going to worry about that right now. Um, this is a two by two, but we'll probably be filtering them into a two by three or a three by three first. So we're going to come up a couple more blocks. And actually, I'm already seeing a mistake of mine. To get the most spawning spots possible, we need to make sure that the first spawning platform is exactly 25 blocks above where we are. So Y level 235. If it's not, we're going to be missing spawns. This actually, this may be perfect. We may have to lower it down by one. Let me see what I can do with this real quick. Okay, so I need to do this backwards because we have to drop like a couple different layers as we go down. So it's going to be easier to work this from the top. So this is where the golem sits. Okay, then we have a one block gap on each side. Then we have a two block gap on each side, and then that connects around. And the way that this thing was designed is it goes back, I think, three like this and and this goes right here snow golem here trap door trap door and then button 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 now the first thing i'm wondering is I, i'm not 100 percent sure but is the like snow golem's range to hit creepers the same on bedrock and java so if i put him here he gets hit and eat it off okay if he goes here does he get hit he does he goes here. Does he get hit? He does not. 
by. That means we can actually make these platforms a little bit larger because I do know a bedrock addition. We need the farm to have more spawning spots. That is very important. Now, I don't want to drastically change the farm in this initial setup, but what we're trying to do is we're trying to make this farm work. So we're going to use all the same general principles, but we're going to use some of the knowledge we have on bedrock addition to make this thing work properly. Now, again, if we want even more spawning spots, we could probably test these, right? He gets yeeted off right there. Okay. So that's the size roughly. I, we could probably go bigger out on this side and that side, but that's fine. We'll just do this right here. So this would be our platform. We know anywhere creeper spawns here, it can get hit by the snow golem and be brought inwards. Now we know that below this, uh, we'll need to drop down three blocks, let's say. And then this will be a floor that's going to have like a, a little water funnel system to bring all of our creeper friends in the middle. So let me get that set up. Okay, this worked out to be pretty simple. We, we just have it flowing into the two by two hole right there. And I've tested a bunch of them. They do not die on the way down. So we are 100% good. Okay, so now we just need to check our like uh, spawn area on Bedrock Edition. We have a tool here I'm using by Foxy No Tail. If I give this to him and do this, ah, there we go. We have spawn radius. So this shows me that mobs can start spawning. We probably could have gone up one block higher, but that's fine. Start spawning there and then they stop spawning here. Let's check it. Let's check it from like one of the edges. Let's check it from one of the edges. Let's see how we want to fit the maximum number of layers that we can possibly fit. And we know there's going to be a layer every three blocks. One, two, three. Bam. OK, so this will give us one two, three, four, five, six, seven layers. That's the maximum we're going to be able to do on simulation distance four for bedrock. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, oh, well, I guess just to make sure we cover exactly how the farm works again, uh, we are going to make a floor or slash ceiling on each level here. And that ceiling, ceiling is going to have trap doors under it to prevent creeper spawns. And then we also need to find a good pattern to where anywhere a um, spider tries to spawn, we prevent it. We need to make sure we have no two by two squares. I think something like that will do it. All right, and then one more thing we need to do is we need to make this top layer surface spawns because Bedrock has two different mob caps. There's the surface mob cap and the cave mod cap. Anything that spawns below a solid block is considered a cave spawn. Anything that spawns with no solid blocks above it is considered a surface spawn. We can have eight in the surface, 16 in the caves. So we can separate this mob cap out by the rest of them by simply getting rid of all the solid blocks here. And then we're going to replace all those blocks with the uh, tinted glass that will both block the light. And it's not counted as a fully solid block. It's a transparent block. So that will allow this top layer to become a surface spawn layer. OK, this took a while, but I got to a point of actual functionality. There are some differences. Maybe there are bugs in Bedrock Edition and how this was implemented, but I did figure it out. I was still getting spawns of spiders with carpets down. And after testing a few different things, I found it was the carpet itself. For some reason, the mobs, uh, the spiders would still spawn with carpet. Um, I tried buttons, which it made sense that they would still spawn with buttons there because the, the spider wouldn't intersect with it. I tried uh, pressure plates and I, I kind of can't come to find out that it has to be something a little bit larger to block the spider spawns. So trap doors worked absolutely fine. Also, uh, this is something that's different too, is mobs were able to spawn, which again, kind of makes sense for bedrock edition. I don't know if it works this way on Java or not. You guys can let me know. I don't remember seeing this in this cow's video, but the mobs were able to spawn where the snow golems were standing. Um, so I went through and I put a button underneath each of the snow golems. So you would build the snow golem up, you would break the snow block and immediately place at the same time a button there. So now they cannot spawn there on any of these blocks. And now this thing is functioning as it's intended to. Now, the next thing we got to do to actually test our rates and make things efficient and so on is we need to build a trident killer right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get the supplies for that. Uh, for this, what we're going to do is we're going to knock out these four blocks directly underneath here. We are going to place mud blocks down. We are going to on. It doesn't really matter what side you do it on. But we're going to do it on the left hand side here. We're going to place a piston, piston, piston and piston. 
We're going to fill all of this around in with solid blocks, spare for one spot where we're going to stand, which is going to be right here. Uh, right there, we will put a trap door or a uh, slab would be fine. Either is okay. Now we put solid blocks on top of each of the pistons like so. Now we face away from each of the pistons and we place a observer down looking at the corner block. We place rail, 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 rail that makes the circular motion of the pistons um over here we could go ahead and place a lever we could place it here too is fine we throw down a few tridents one two three should be okay let me make sure this does work in preview it does they get moved around perfectly now we go underneath here and we place down a couple a few double chests with hoppers going into the back and all the hoppers underneath there going into that and boom now we have our storage now if you're not familiar with bedrock edition what we could do is we can hold a looting three sword in our hand we could let mobs drop down we'd have the trident killer turned on as the tridents move around they will hit and kill the uh, mobs that drop in so if i go through and i place this in hard mode to make mobs spawn in again we should pretty quickly here start to get creeper spawns and we can see what our first attempt at this farm built mostly the way that it's built on java edition will work and we'll see if there's anything else that we can do to it to make it work a little bit faster to better fit bedrock edition and there we go we do have mobs dropping in again on bedrock edition it's going to be a pretty slow pace but now that we have them dropping in i would like to take a little bit of time there's another one coming right now um, I would like to take a and they're not dying, right? Nope, they're not dying on the on the way down, which means they are getting killed by the tridents. So now I would like to let this run for a little while, maybe about an hour or so. And let's see how many drops that we get. All right. And this is it. We got three, two, one, zero. We will turn the trident killer off. We will not be collecting any more loot now, killing any more mobs. This was a full one hour run. Yes, when you test, you should do like maybe 10 hours or so, but um, if not more. So consider this a loose estimate, but wow. I'm gonna say this is way outside of my prediction. We have uh, nine, 10, 11 stacks, 11 times 64 plus 23. 727 gunpowder now if you play on java edition or you've seen java edition rates that's not very good this would probably get maybe five times that i'm thinking on java edition i don't know we, we'd have to test and see it would definitely get a whole lot more than what this got but 727 is close to as good as a general mob farm now general mob farm would be a bit larger in size to make like uh, it fills in a little bit more of this like circle and would be a bit larger and it's definitely a lot more materials because at least the, the good ones you would use scaffolding and water pushing so they're a lot uh, they're a lot more to build this is a lot more simple to build than your standard like optimized good general mob farm is so i could see its purpose but i'm thinking if I um, let me turn, let me get this guy back to mob spawn radius. There we go. I wonder, could we could we do four of these by each other? And then what type of result would four of these get? See what I would probably do. I'd find like the corner, like right here, roughly. Right. We'll say like right here. Uh, let's let's turn this dude off. Let's give him a banner and turn him on. Does this whole thing fit? Almost. Instead of seven layers, I think we would do six. And then we could do four of them with four trident killers. It would still probably be a little bit easier of a build than a full general mob farm because you don't have to do all the scaffolding placing, all the water placing, the, the spider trap to remove the spiders. Like there's so much involved with that type of farm. So I think let's do it. We're going to we're going to quadruple this thing just for science. And maybe do I even see if I can optimize it? Is there any way to optimize it any further? The main thing slowing this thing down, I think at this point, is the fact that when you have multiple creeper spawns occurring at the same time, so you have a creeper over here and a creeper over here, he's throwing a hitting one creeper, but the other one, the other one's not dropping down. And that could be tying up the mob cap and preventing new creepers from spawning just because clearing the creepers is taking a little too long. We could engineer this thing a little bit more to add in a second golem, block them off from being able to see each other. 
but I think if we, I don't think that's going to help much if we just make it a quad farm. Let me see if I can design a sensible little platform to these guys, for these guys to sit in that would probably do that. All right. We took the design over there. We moved it over here, structure blocks. We shrunk it down the one layer, like we said, and I optimized a, like one major thing when I did this, which was I got rid of this little middle area. So they connected together that because one thing on bedrock edition that's killing the performance of this farm and i don't know if this is true for java or not you guys can let me know down in the comment section below is that the golems once a mob once a creeper spawns in here i'll show you every golem within that that's like within range of that creeper they automatically lock one to it so if i spawn this creeper here and this creeper here he's looking down there until that's out of his range he will like permanently look at that which will slow this farm's rates down. We speed it up a little bit by opening this up. And then if I were to try to speed this up any more, we would probably fill in this middle area with the rest of the floor. And then we would put a, a little golem column right here, a little catch area and a trident killer for this one too. That would make the farm a little bit faster. Some people have pointed out to me that I could have done carpet, or I guess in our case, the trap doors a little bit more efficiently as well. Um, the way that I was doing them here, let's go down below is is I was doing them like this and then like this, right? But actually what I could do is I could do them like this and like this. So doing it like that will actually make it to where even wherever a creeper tries to spawn, there's not gonna be a two by two gap. It would give me more spawning spaces, which would make the farm a little bit faster. So in my estimation, if we were to add in that center and we were to do this to get more spawning spaces, we could maybe increase our output by another like maybe 15, 20%. This is what we got in about 20 minutes. I did the calculations, very basic calculations. And essentially we're getting about 2,100 gunpowder per hour. Uh, we could maybe increase that to say 2,500 gunpowder per hour. This is, this is leaps and bounds better than what I thought would be possible in Bedrock Edition with this farm but it's 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 pretty solid like and i honestly kind of like that look like i would make a tower like that at ground level decorate it spawn proof everything and make it look really cool and then and then since i play on simulation distance 12 i could make it a lot taller remember this is simulation this works on simulation distance 4 it gets you roughly 2500 gunpowder per hour this is not bad for bedrock edition at all yes it's not fully optimized yes you could like massively change the farm or go with a different design to get more rates but that's not the question we were trying to answer today the question we were trying to answer today is does this iscal 85 slash waddles farm work on bedrock edition with only minor optimizations to make it work on Bedrock Edition? The answer was yes. We got almost 800 uh, gunpowder per hour with one tower. We get about 2,500 per hour with four towers. That's not bad at all. My recommendation to Mojang in the end of all this would be this, okay? What would the rates be on this farm on Java Edition built in the same manner? And Bedrock needs to, to come as close as possible to matching that. I'm guessing the Java farm would probably be five to 10 times faster with this exact same design. So if we could make the Bedrock farm five to 10 times faster or even two to three times faster just to bridge the gap a little bit, make the mobs spawn in a little bit quicker, I think that would be a big win for everybody. And generally speaking, everybody would be pretty happy about this update. Overall, it's a really good thing. I can't wait for it to hit the live game so we can start designing some more new crazy creeper farms and people that make farms they see on Java Edition, like some of you I'm sure probably have done in the past. You'll make this farm seeing Iskow make it and it'll, it'll work it'll work okay and then hopefully you'll find somebody like myself or another great creator that will show you how to like change it a little bit to make it better but i appreciate you guys watching the video today thank you so much if you enjoyed please click the like button on the video drop a subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this type of video drop me a comment down below let me know what your thoughts of this whole situation layout are and i'll see you next time Bye bye